How are we doing, Nation? We're doing the lineup challenge with the Fairfield boxes. I'm sure you all have seen those. But I first want to start with, we just hit 200 subscribers recently. So I'm going to be putting together a giveaway. The first component of the giveaway is going to be these football cards you all saw um, from my trip to Collector's Cove. These are from the Panini Player of the Day set. So you can only get these special edition cards through the Panini Player of the Day program. So they are limited edition. There's some stars in here. Russell Wilson. There's also Baker Mayfield. Alvin Kamara. So they're pretty cool cards. This is going to be one part of the giveaway. Um, I'm still figuring out exactly how I'm going to do it. But how I'm going to determine the winner is go back to each of my videos starting with the first one that went up in September um, you can sort by date and leave a comment I'm gonna be doing a comment selector and I'll have all that recorded starting with the first video in September the more comments you leave on each video the more entries you have make sure they're good comments you can reply to people um, reply to their comments really get a conversation going but that is how we'll determine entries <clears throat> now as far as the lineup challenge how that goes is you open a box of Fairfield you look through it and you determine your best starting lineup um, and see what you have and hopefully you end up with a pretty good team this says it's a team set inside if it's the all-star team set I'm already in great shape if it's the St. Louis Cardinals team set I think it's from 16, so I may only use Yachty or Molina. So let's open it up and see what we have. Let me get the giveaways out of the way. Let's see. I'll open from the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> so it is a Cardinals team set. So let's see. As I'm doing it, I'll go ahead and sort them by position to make it easier. We got Yanni Molina as catcher, Kevin Segrist, Mike Leak. I don't think I'll use those. Colton Wong as second base. Carlos Martinez. Jed Jerko. Tommy Pham in the outfield. He might potentially play. Randall Gritchick had a pretty good year this year. Matt Adams. Matt Holliday. He's a pretty good outfielder. Trevor Rosenthal. Matt Carpenter at third base. And I know he had a really good career at third base, so he may have a chance. Wayne Wright had a really good career as well. And it's cool, Stephen Piscotti rookie card. Okay, Giancarlo Stanton. Odds are he'll be on the team. But we'll double check. Angel Salazar. Chris Bozio. He's a pitcher. Juan Samuel at second. Ron Tingley. And some of these guys I'm going to have to look up, especially if they don't have the positions on the front. One thing I do really like about these boxes, though, is they do a good mix. Wow, this is an old card. Gary Ward, Dave Engel, Greg Johnston. What year is this from? 1981. Wow. Looks in pretty decent shape for 81. But since it's got multiple players on it, I can't use it for this competition. Shane Max in the outfield. I'm really curious about the um, the prime boxes. I haven't seen them around here yet. If I can get my hands on one, I'll try and break it for you. Um, and just let you all have an opportunity to see what's in them. I've seen some pretty good things come out of them, which is pretty awesome. Sammy Stewart. I actually saw a video the other day. Because um, it says they have high end packs in them. Okay, this just says infield, but more than likely I'm not using him. And I actually saw a high end pack come out. Um, it was the equivalent pretty much of a whole box of Bowman High Tech, which was pretty awesome. I think he pulled four autographs. Brendan McKay, Keston Hira, um, Christian Pache, 
and Evan White from the Mariners, which is insane for what was about nine dollars. So if you have any around you, um, definitely check those out. I think they're pretty cool. This is um, I think these Donruss Preferreds are pretty cool. I think he played third base. Marquise Grissom might be nice to have some speed in the outfield. So we'll see Jeff Conine, clutch hitter. Um, he's got a potential at first base. Willie Randolph. Um, I'm kind of low on second baseman right now, so he actually might be my guy. Benny Castilla at third. He could definitely hit. He has some potential. Pulling a lot of pitchers, so I don't necessarily think I'll probably go there. Luis Castillo. Garrett Anderson. Candy Maldonado is an outfielder. Our pack's going to be 2018 opening day. I'll save that till last. See if we can get anything out of there we can use. This is awesome. Here's a Leaf draft. Cody Bellinger, they list him in the outfield. So that's where I'll list him too. Let's get these turned around. The joy of Fairfield boxes. Everything's turned every which way. Adam Frazier. Javi Baez, they list him at second base, so that's where he'll be, um, <clears throat> at least for this challenge, Austin Hedges, Tyler Glass, now rookie card, that's a nice one, he had a really good year um, in Tampa, Tampa's actually still playing, they um, clawed their way from 2-0 deficit to even it and send it to game 5. Really, it's been some great um, division series games so far. The only one that's really been a blowout is the Yankees defeating the Twins. And I really feel for the Twins because, you know, they had a really good year. But the Yankees just seem to have their number. I actually picked the Twins to beat the Yankees in my um, MLB postseason challenge. But... Um, I messed up there. I nailed the wild card games. So I'm off there. I actually had the Astros and the Dodgers, or the Astros and the Nationals making it to the World Series. My heart is telling me to go with the Nationals, um, but I just think the Astros are such a good team. Um, but I would love to see the Nationals win it all. My wife and I actually went to the Division Series Game 3 in 83 Donners um, just the other day and it was not pretty for the Nationals they um I really like these upper deck cards kinda wish upper deck would come back into the game but I think they are completely folded now Nolan Ryan that might compete as in compete means that might be the card But the Nationals bullpen just, I don't know how long they're going to last with the bullpen playing that way. You'd hope they'd be pretty successful and that they can make it just because of how good the starting pitching is. But back-to-back -back Danny Cox's, that's interesting. I just don't think they can go all the way without wearing those pitchers down. But they managed to get it done the other day, and that was awesome. They kind of ran into some trouble against the Dodgers at the game. We were that. I think, I think the Dodgers scored seven runs in the sixth inning, which was a franchise record for them. It was not pleasant to watch all that. It really took the fans right out of the game. But the first five innings were awesome, especially with... Um, Juan Soto hitting that home run definitely gave us something to cheer about. And I think game five is going to be really awesome between Scherzer, who's just been insanely impressive, um, to kind of take over and be the workhorse. Going against Walker Bueller, who had a phenomenal game one. I'm pretty low on shortstop, so it'll be interesting to see who I pick there. 
Maybe I'll pull something out of the opening day pack. A lot of outfielders to pick from Mookie Wilson. There's a Corey Seager. So I may have just got my shortstop. Let's look in the 2018 opening day pack. I can get somebody there. Trey Mancini in the field. Willie Calhoun rookie card. Andrew Benintendi. The home run Apple. Lester Austin Hayes rookie. And Ozzy Albies rookie. So, let's see what I'm going to go with here as far as cards. I think a catcher. There's really only one option. He was at the very front of the box. Yadier Molina. Just plays really good behind the plate. You know, he's a really strong competitor. Can hit the ball well. Still comes through in the clutch. First base. This is where it gets a little more challenging. Because I have Palmero and Will Clark. Clark, really good defensive first baseman. Even though... Paul Mero um, was mixed up in PEDs and everything. He has really good numbers, and that's what I'm picking from. So I'm going with him as our first baseman. Second base is going to be a little more challenging because there's really a couple options I can go with here. Um, even though Willie Randolph was a pretty decent hitter in his career, I'm down to three. So, Luis Castillo, the speedster, Ozzy Albies, Javi Baez. Baez can do a little bit of everything, so I think he's going to be our second baseman. So we're going to continue around the infield. We'll go ahead and move to shortstop. Shortstop, I really only had five options altogether, and I'll run down those cards. Corey Seager, Ray Quinones, Eddie Zosky, Angel Salazar, Gianni Peralta. It's got to be Corey Seager. We get a little left-handed pop in our lineup as well. Now, third base, again, I only had four options. I had Doug DeCensis, Gary Gaetti, Vinny Castilla, Matt Carpenter. I'm going to go with Castilla here. So now we move on to the outfield. Outfield... There's automatically going to be a lot of options just because of how many cars usually pop up when you search for outfielders. I do want some speed, so I'm going to be looking there for potential. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to have a little pop. So I'm picking out a few right now to narrow it down the selections. And then. I'll show you who I'm choosing between, and we'll pick our finalists. Okay, so I have it down, and I need just three of these. I could go Matt Holiday, As you can see, really solid batter. He hits the ball well. Um, definitely has potential. One, Giancarlo Stanton. Really good numbers. This is his second year card. I think Giancarlo is going to have to be one of my outfielders. David Justice, I like him. You know, hits for power. He can steal some bases. And if you saw Moneyball, he gets on base. But I'm just not sure. Garrett Anderson, I like Anderson. Not a lot of pop. Has a pretty decent batting average. He's under consideration. Cody Bellinger, the way he played this year. I pretty much think he has to be in there. Um, so he has to be my second outfielder. So I'm down to just one spot. I could go Joe Carter. You know he comes through in the clutch. Albert Bell, Andy Van Slyke, Mookie Wilson, Trey Mancini, or Andrew Benintendi. I think what I'm going to go with here is if I need a veteran, I need a guy who can really hit the ball. I'm going Joe Carter. Just because of what he did in the World Series, we could use some clutch hitting like that on our team. Now as far as pitchers, I can pick one righty and one lefty. So I'm going to narrow those down right now. 
and we'll see who we go with let's just sort these out and again it doesn't matter a whole lot as far as um, starter or reliever when you do this challenge all that matters is that you go with a pitcher and there's several um, righties that I could go with so I've tried to narrow those down and I'll give you a rundown of who I picked as far as those go looking through my lefties right now okay and as far as my righties honorable mention is going to go to Tyler Glass now because of what he's done this year but he's not making the cut same with Jack Morris really hard not to go with him if I could go with two righties he's easily the second best pitcher I have but can't quite do it the pitcher on our staff is going to be Nolan Ryan because you have to go with Nolan um, he's just too strong of a competitor to not be the pick now as far as the lefties go one contender Mark Langston if you look at Langston's numbers Really strong, low ERA, decent number of wins, and he has strikeouts. So he's a contender. We also have David Wells through a perfect game. Um, you know, rarely misses action. He's a possibility. Steve Avery, this is a rookie card, but Avery had a pretty solid career as well for the Braves and all those playoff runs. And John Lester. And Lester had some pretty good seasons with the Cubs. Um, but I think it's going to be between Wells and Langston. And I think I'm going to have to give it to David Wells. Um, I'm going to use the perfect game as the tiebreaker. So... Our final team is going to be pitchers, Nolan Ryan, David Wells, and outfield of Giancarlo Stanton, Cody Bellinger, and Joe Carter, Vinny Castilla, and Corey Seager on the left side of the infield, Javi Baez and Rafael Palmero on the right side of the infield, and Yanni Molina behind the plate. Let me know what you thought of the lineup I put together um, from this Fairfield box and I'd love to see a response video from you if you want to take the starting lineup challenge I have a couple more boxes so I'm actually going to compare starting lineups and see which Fairfield box had the better starting lineup so make sure you tune in tomorrow for that and also be on the lookout for more um, information as it relates to the giveaway but we know on um, these limited edition Panini player of the day cards that came from Collector's Cove will be in the giveaway. You'll just have to see what else is going to be in there. So go ahead and start commenting on every video from September to now to make sure you get as many entries you can. We'll see you tomorrow.